This is Neuralink's first real human test trial. I'm obviously the first person with the Neuralink implant. And it's honestly kind of crazy. I mean, check out this clip here. And I think you're my only telekinetic friend that I have. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, not many more of those out there. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Nolan Arbaugh. I'm 29 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4, C5, so I'm a complete um, quadriplegic. Uh, so I'm paralyzed from below the shoulders. I have no sensation or movement uh, below my level of injury, so below my shoulders. I'll stick and stuff, but now it's all, uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's, that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's all brain power up there. <laughs> so apparently he's able to move his mouse cursor and things like music with just his mind. But I mean, how exactly does this work? So for those unfamiliar, this is one of Elon Musk's company, Neuralink. And on January 28th, 2024, Neuralink implanted their first clinical trial into a real human. But here's how it works. They begin by actually drilling out a literal portion of your skull, and in place of your missing skull, they put in a tiny brain chip that's roughly about the size of a dime. It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Connected to this brain chip are a bunch of tiny wires, and I mean tiny. These wires are supposedly 10 times thinner than human hair. Once the wires have been fully connected to the brain's neural cortex region, electrical signals can then be sent back and forth between the brain and the chip. The electrical signals are read as analog signal and then decoded into a digital language for our computers to use. But how does just thinking about something actually make it happen? I mean, that's literally crazy. Because if this guy can really just move something like his mouse cursor or shut off the radio by just thinking and focusing on it like a Star Wars Jedi Master, then I mean, can you imagine when people implement this type of technology when AR or VR technology becomes popular? People are literally going to be able to move everything with just their mind. Now, brain scanning devices isn't anything new. But what really makes Neuralink really different from everything else is first, how many electrodes they're hooking up to your brain. Neuralink has about 10 times as many electrodes as any other brain chip out there. And this is going to allow more electrical signals to be sent from and into the brain, possibly lighting up and accessing parts of the brain that weren't being used prior. So does this mean it can be used to maybe calm ourselves down whenever, whenever we're feeling too stressed? Can we use it to maybe access parts of our brain to boost hormonal production, like when we're sleeping, so we can increase our testosterone or dopamine? I mean, we're just at the tip of the iceberg of what's going to be possible with the coming decades with this. But the scary part is, Elon Musk doesn't just plan on this being for people who are paralyzed or have some disorder. No, 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 no. He anticipates this to be a widespread device people use supposedly in order to help humans combat artificial intelligence and use it to their advantage. I mean, Musk has already said how much human civilization has become cyborg-like with how much our consciousness is spent looking at our phones or things on the internet. But he believes the next step is unleashing a super library of information and processing power for our brains by merging with artificial intelligence. Elon Musk's plan to merge humans with AI. And I mean, if you even look at Neuralink's website, they say it on one of their mission statements here. Brain-computer interfaces have the potential to change lives for the better. We want to bring this technology from the lab into people's homes. And although I think this is great for people who were already paralyzed like Nolan here, who is now able to play video games on his computer, but for me personally, I'm not ready to have someone drilling a hole and implanting a computer into my head. I mean, can you imagine walking around with that thing in your skull every day? Now, I'm not sure how they're going to get people to adopt this new type of technology, but let's say 10 years from now, only 5% of the population had the Neuralink brain chip implanted into their heads as first early adopters. And these people really did have super computer knowledge and information. I mean, how would that even function as a society? Does this mean these people are going to get more qualified for certain jobs more than other people? 
Are we going to even know which of us has a brain chip inside of us? Or are each of us just going to walk around like normal people and pretend like everything is normal and just fine? But the funniest thing about it is imagine giving Elon Musk control to everyone's Neuralink brain chip. I could just imagine him laughing at his Gigafactory and Tesla headquarters knowing he could turn on and off anyone's chip from a computer signal. I literally have no idea how this integration with our society would happen, but it does scare me of what it's capable of. Anyways, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment to boost this video. Thanks for watching.